review, Baldark has formula to gallop ahead. Someone showing off their chest, Ross. Someone putting his shaky marriage in further jeopardy by telling his missus a whopper, Ross. Someone galloping across cliffs to prevent an injustice being done, Ross. Baldark looks as simple as a Cornish pasty, but like the tin miner's snack, that's why it works. Just as Ross, Aidan Turner, can't help his feelings for Elizabeth Warlgen, Hida Reed, and Demelza, Eleanor Tomlinson, can't help her passion for the soppy, sickly poet, we can't help getting caught up in it. The landscape and all that galloping play a part. How can you not get breathless? Not forgetting the effects of Ross scything corn. Hewington or just stepping out of the surf, shirtlessly, the plots get the pulse racing, too, less with the endlessly hither and thither love stories and more with our sense of right and wrong. Last night's was a masterclass, beginning when hot-headed Yago, Jack Ridiford, saw grain being loaded on boats in the harbor. The banks had shut due to instability and folk were starving while grain was being shipped to Portugal. The landowners agreed to crack down on any trouble. Demels's brothers tried to stop Yago starting a riot. You see the genius of casting in sequences like these. There's something repulsive about the smooth, smug, well-fed faces of Warlgen, Jack Farthing, and Sir Francis, John Hopkins. Ross's sermon about motives and intentions went on too long. If I'd been one of the lads with a noose round his neck, I might have jumped, to end the tension. That's another way of saying it was tense. Any show that can keep such an energy going, four series in, has hit a rich seam.